In this video, I will review the types of things that you can expect to find in quadrant four, program material. So in this quadrant, you're gonna get information specifically for the schools that you're applying to. I said USC was the campus I was applying to, and so you'll see that all the information here is pertaining to USC. You'll get some general information about the campus, what you need to send in. So here you can see that they want all official transcripts from the two-year or four-year institutions I've attended. Some majors may require audition, portfolio, letters of recommendation, or writing samples, and that's gonna be found on their admissions website. And international students have additional information they might need to submit. Here's the contact information for the Office of Admission at USC. And then at the bottom, you can see what tests I have to submit information on. So here it says standard test policy sometimes required. Required standard tests, SAT with or without the essay, ACT with or without the essay, and required from international applicants is IELTS or TEFL or PTE. So it says sometimes required. If I click on that, it'll take me to the USC website where I can look up whether or not it's required of me. Okay, so this is the policies and it'll tell me what's required from my applications. In quadrant four, I can get information about what's required for the application. I know there's a few sections in the tutorial where I said your campus may or may not require it. And so that's where you can start getting some information about what is required. You also have specific program questions uh, under question and this will vary by campus, right? So if you're applying to USC, you'll see questions about general questions about fee waiver and financial aid, your academics, a writing supplemental question, and then another question, which is another essay question for USC that you have to fill out. So these are specific for USC that you might want to spend some time on, right? Anytime you see a red asterisk, that means it's required. Any additional documents that are required will be listed here. And then if recommendations are required, I will see them here. So it says an academic recommendation is not required, but it is allowed if I want to add one. And then for professional recommendation, one is allowed, but it's not required. So anytime they say allowed, but not required, I encourage you guys to, t to go the extra mile and just put it in if you have it. Um, and that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope that you found it helpful. I know there's going to be a lot of variation because all the schools are a little bit different. If you do have a general question about this tutorial, please reach out to transferacademy at sbcc.edu.